This is probably going to be one of the coolest mods I've done inside the DIY home built garage. To start this episode, we have one box which is going to reveal all mods today. We have got a piece of Scorpion exhaust for the Audi S3. You will know I fitted my air ride full solo on the Audi S3 build. You will also know I fitted the Audi grill full solo on the channel. And today I am doing my first ever solo piece of exhaust. Let's unbox this thing so we can give you a little walkthrough. Then we'll do some car sounds before, we'll fit it and we'll do some car sounds after. I think it's going to be a good video. A res delete for the middle. So you have a centre resonator, which gives it like quite a lot of sound deadening. Apparently they sound pretty sick with just a res delete. So my long term plan is to start with the res delete, probably in the next few episodes a back box, and then if I really want some more power, upgrade to a stage two, which will be a remap, a front mount intercooler, and a downpipe. Um, so I ordered it off Awesome GTI, it came within a day, and it is just a straightforward Scorpion res delete. Ah, car parts, this is a good day. We're gonna go full POV right now. Full POV. Ah, she's a monster. Audi S3, VW Golf Mark 7, 7.5, Res Delete. Handmade in the UK by Scorpion Exhausts. Shout out. This thing looks pretty cool. Apparently, this is one cut and one sleeve to fit. We've got the Scorpion. The Scorpion Res Delete pipe, which is ready to go. Check that out. So you'll see in a minute, a big massive box comes out of the exhaust and this straight pipe bad boy goes in to get rid of some of the mufflers and stuff. Jeez. So as you can see, it's chamfered at one end, which is obviously a bump stop of where it stops to get a sleeve put on. And then this end, I'm pretty sure we should have a sleeve for. Straight pipe, which is going to delete a resonator on the Audi S3 exhaust. We've got two sleeves, we've got instructions, and that is it. Looks like a very, very simple installation process. Thanks to everyone that's been supporting my brand owner. Don't forget, we've got pullover outdoor jackets that have just dropped. We've got a three pack of Bent Peak snapbacks that have just dropped in a bundle deal and we've got brand new 2024 joggers which you can get a free t-shirt with any hoodie or joggers on the website. Loads of sick deals on owner, just google owner, we're right at the top, get involved. Thanks for the support. Check it. Tool station bad boy. Jeez, okay. So we got a cheap Titan £40 plug-in reciprocator. You do actually find plug-in ones our uh, corded ones are actually a little bit more powerful, so I opted into a corded one. I feel like the long term cheap stuff is just a bit better corded, so if you're buying something cheap with a battery, I feel like it's a faff, but I feel like if you're buying something really bottom end, you just buy it with a cord because it's a bit easier. But um, because it was such a cheap sort, I bought some real good metal blades. So this should be quite cool, apparently it cuts through metal. So we need to do some stock exhaust noises, so we're going to put the camera on a tripod, we're going to do some revs on the stock exhaust noises, but you have been warned, it sounds like a hairdryer. As you can hear from that little clip, it does sound like a full-blown hairdryer. So let's go to the garage, let's get it up on the ramps, let's cut the old resonator out and let's install the new res pipe. 
So what I want to do is plug this saw in and know that it works. Recip saw. So this is a reciprocating saw. I've never ever used a corded one, so this is going to be interesting. I kind of thought if we're buying something cheap, let's get it corded. Okay. She's powerful. I'll show you in slow-mo how it works. As you can imagine, that is going to have no problem cutting through a piece of exhaust. I'm pretty certain my exhaust is that deep, which means this should work. Especially because when you press that, it actually goes a bit higher as well. So, we're done. Yes, Scorpion Exhaust, if you're watching this episode and you're sat in the office thinking this is a pretty cool video about our res delete, feel free to send me a back box delete. I would be happy about that for a future episode. So here we are, we've got the res delete. We've got the um, reciprocating saw and we've got the instructions. It says estimated fitting 60 minutes, I'm going to assume that's for amateurs who are like me. So it should take an hour. It's cool how they've laid it out over the box so you can see what way it actually goes. And I don't get this bit. But hey, what in the hell do I know? Okay, we are officially going under the beast. To be honest, you can actually see quite easily where this is going to go. So this big section is getting swapped out for this big section. This piece goes up here. You take this flange off, which is two 10 mil bolts, which we're gonna do in a sec. And this basically goes where this one is. And then you cut the pipe at the back. This is gonna be sick, this. I gotta undo this. We are actually getting somewhere. Oh my God. So my exhaust has now dropped. Now we got this section here. So as you can see, this bit has dropped. I've then marked here. See this little mark here? This is my mark. I've got my drill battery light on when that goes off. It's pretty dark, so I'll just put that on a little bit to start my cut. And then we're gonna see how this bad boy is. She's out. She's out. The res is out. Oh my god. Right. Now, this is... This is actually, actually, actually happening. Damn, check it out. So, that's what's come out. And this kills so much sound on your car. Full of mad stuff that just takes so much pain out of the noise of your exhaust. And then I'm swapping it out for this straight pipe with the same sort of mount going on. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this rubber mallet and I'm gonna mallet this onto the cut end, which I think is gonna give us a nice easy one because I think that end and that end will work easily together. So this thing has to go on the cut end, which I'm hoping a rubber mallet will get on. Yeah. Like so. So as you can see, I've slid that one on there, which is pretty damn sick. There's been a lot of under the car content happening on this channel. A lot. Res delete. Like so. Let's put it up in there. Damn, that was so easy. Okay, so I've got a 15 
on my ratchet. Damn, this has gone insanely well. So I'm not going to tighten them like actually up, up. All I'm going to do is just nip them up because I still won't be able to twist this pipe, you see. It is officially done. This is clamped back on. The res delete pipe is in, as you can see. And then it's followed up by these two clamps. I've actually spun these around. Full section that's just come out the exhaust. That is one hell of a box. Let's see what she sounds like. First thing we've got to do, we've got to bag it out for sure. Let's open the garage door and let's turn this on. Hit the thumbs up button right now. It helps the channel. Let's start it. Actually sounds pretty mad. Let's take it for a spin. Looks like we've just made last light today, which is pretty cool. Um, it is pretty loud, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm quite surprised. I didn't know a res delete would add so much bass to the system. Um, really, I should have brought my GoPro, but I'm just going to put it on a tripod so you can hear it's static. I'll do a couple of revs. I think you get the picture. It's a res delete. It sounds mad. It's more the experience of doing it together, modifying it in the garage. That's what it's like in the cab. Sounds sick. This weekend's mod was a res delete. I actually think in the future I would probably do a back box delete. And then I'd have a cat and then a straight pipe. Which I think could be kind of cool, but we'll see anyway, we'll see. Res delete installed. And this is sound noises parked. Bear in mind, the Audi S3 has a soft limiter on it, so it can only hit like, it can only hit like 4K. Enjoy, this is the difference anyway, compared to before we installed the res delete. the craziest on the DSG when you're driving hard and you go bap on the DSG you hear it bang way more as you can see the build is coming along quite nicely I'm actually really happy with it it's slammed um, the back end looks a bit dead I do want a carbon diffuser for the back end but I've just got other priorities at the moment when it comes to the build it's starting to look pretty insane though check it Slammed with the US front end and now the res delete and the bags and it's all been done solo I've done it all myself which is pretty sick I'm hyped keeps me really busy in the weekend on the weekend keeps me really busy and gets me hyped that I can learn to do this stuff myself I think if you're going to mod your car you should do it yourself only for the fact that it's an inconvenience if something goes wrong and you don't, you don't know how to actually fix it so Looks sick. Check it. Love the colour. Love the chrome. I've got new wheels at home as well. So they're actually going to be the next episode is new shoes. Although I do really like the OEM Plus vibes. Make sure you tune back in for the next video. I've got brand new wheels. They're unreleased from Rotiform and they've sent me them. I've just got to get them powder coated because they sent me them in black but I want them in silver. Smash the like button. Get involved in the comments below and get excited for the next video which is going to be a wheel video. It's going to be insane on new shoes. I can't wait. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, don't forget, crazy deals on owner. Free t-shirt with every single hoodie. We've got two bundle deals of t-shirts up and we've got one cap bundle deal. So go and check us out. Just Google owner and we're at the top. Until next time, peace.